Okay, this is going to be a short video, and it's on herbal drinks. And we're not talking herbal like, you know, herbal tea or anything. This is an herbal drink. We're going to use, let me show you the lineup here. This is an excellent drink. I do it three times a week and add it to my liquids of vitality. We have dandelion leaf powder. Everything's organic here, so we won't keep saying organic, organic, organic. But we use one tablespoon of dandelion leaf powder. I use a full teaspoon, heaping teaspoon of gingo leaf powder. These are, remember, this is to make you a little bit smarter, a little bit more clear in the mind, quicker uh, as far as your reaction time, just to be able to be more, more you know, optimized in your mind. The blue-green algae spirulina mixture. I don't make the the blue-green algae tinted water with this. I just add this to the to the mix. Um, and here's my drink right here. You can see I just put it all inside here. You can see the blue-green algae on the top, and you've got the ginkgo leaf powder and the dandelion leaf powder. Now I put in a tablespoon of living silica. I put 10 to 20 drops of the magnesium concentrate. And this is remember, have you had your magnesium today? I doubt it. And I put two to three drops of our, uh, again, organic fulvic acid and fulvic minerals. Now, the fulvic, remember, what it does is it, it, it congeals everything and it makes everything homogenize. Okay, so you can put it in the Vitamix blender, which is usually the best way to do it, and then even chill it if you like. I just put a crystal in the bottom of mine and shake it up, handshake it. And uh, it usually shakes very well, but if not, um, you can go ahead and whip it up. And you could put in, even if you'd like, put in like one tablespoon of coconut oil if you do put it in the Vitamix and it gives it like a frothy, creamy type of taste. Now, these are the options. This is what I usually do too. I'm gonna add this to it right now. I'm gonna put in just a quarter teaspoon of the stevia leaf, green stevia. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of the coffee bean extract, and this is to increase my metabolism. If you look up green coffee bean extract, you'll see what this stuff does. It increases metabolism. Uh, I'm gonna put also a little bit of the rose hips in. The rose hips are full of vitamin C and uh, very, you know, sort of tarty tasting. It's vitamin C, uh, ascorbic acid. And the, the kicker is uh, I put in niacin, and I'm gonna put in about 250 milligrams of niacin. And what I do is um, I just take one of these capsules, doing this one-handed, and I open up the capsule, and it's a 500 milligram capsule, so I'm gonna dump in 250 milligrams in there. And that's gonna, remember, this is brain food. So we want this to, to cardiovascularly open up the vascularity of the brain, and that's why you'll get a flushing feeling. This is niacin, B3. This isn't niacinamide. That stuff doesn't work. The niacin, the flushing, it releases your histamine storages. Very smart. I do this every day. I put niacin in my drinks. And to make it taste wunderbar, I put, uh, this is uh, mint right here. And mint leaf, of course, here's basil on top. That's for the evening, but mint leaf, mm, makes it taste so fresh. Remember, it's an herbal. So we've got the dandelion. We've got the ginkgo, the blue-green algae. We've got uh, living silica. And this is not just food. Remember, that's what superfoods are. Superfoods are foods and liquids that are just above simple food. Simple food doesn't keep you healthy. It just keeps you, if, if at your luckiest, at bay. Superfoods are reestablishing your, your total metabolism uptake to be able to actually have a certain vibration of foods that aren't low down here, simple foods, but they're higher up into this category. And so the higher vibrational foods that you put in, liquids, the more concentration that your mind can have because it's, it's, here's the vibration. Low vibration goes down into here, okay? Higher vibrations go up into here. And if you can get that symbolism or symbology, then you wanna, in the day, as I always do, I just feed my mind. No need to feed my body. These are energy centers. Remember, you are what you eat, drink, sleep, feel, and do. So exercise, again, also is very important to be able to activate the mind. 
try to look up the chi breathing exercises. Uh, Dr. Robert Kassar, chi breathing exercises, and uh, uh, that'll help you so you can stretch. This is how you get chi through the nose, the left turbinate, the right turbinate, vortex up into the, to the what we call zero point, and it charges the brain. If not, if you breathe through your mouth, you're just breathing through your chest. <laughs> but if you breathe through your nose, you breathe through your stomach. Diaphragmatic, chest, and then clavicle breathing. Okay, that's it. And this is a short little, remember, you're trying to do liquids if you can all day. You'll find out that your mind will stay super clear. And in the evening, food uh, that I sit down and eat and I take my time is a sedative. During the day, I want to be active. And at night, I use it as a sedative. Yesterday, Weston... My son, who's 18 years old right now, we went scuba diving. We did our second ocean dive, 85 minutes underwater. Wow, <laughs> was that a, a different dimension that you're swimming in? And uh, today, um, just by breathing that air and everything else, my brain's a little slow right now. It's not tight like it usually is, so I'm gonna have some brain food. It's real simple. If you don't feel as clear as you should, and most people, they don't know the difference anyways because they've never felt clarity. And that's why I tell with people, guys, do the 21 days of liquids, raw smoothies, liquids of vitality and everything. And then after that, ask yourself the question again. Do you have more clarity? Of course you do. Now what? You have sometimes more clarity means that you've had a lot of things in your mind festering. And now you're not going to procrastinate with them anymore. You're going to let go of all the things that aren't needed to make space for more things you can put into your, your landscape, into your own, you know, your, your own new self. So doing the, the cleanliness, uh, the, the movements uh, are 21 days minimum. There's someone trying to call me. Okay. Uh, anyways, okay, we're all done anyways. Okay, that's it. Mind food, herbals, aloha. <laughs> Quick addendum because we had the phone ring there and it got me off track. I wanna show you the water that I'm putting in. Uh, we sell this machine at a discount at eartheracademy.com, which is our student school. I'm just a student myself. It's a, it's a work in progress to pe keep on advancing all this information and we need your help okay your help to be able to once you go through 180 days of this program then what happens is that you want to share so in the beginning you don't have anything really to share at all because it's your transformation we want you to share but this is the water that I've been using uh, this is a steam distilled water machine and they're not easy to uh, purchase of course because you have no idea what you're purchasing and I've already bought several of these things and they just fall apart so it takes uh, about an hour uh, or actually three hours to make uh, about a gallon of perfectly zero 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 parts per million of steam distilled water pure pure water H2O only and I either drink that to remove the inorganic solids out of me or what I do is I add my minerals back in the clean minerals that actually are now in pure water instead of a lot of, and I just use the tap water. Even if I use the river water, remember, I'm just gonna just steam, steam out the, 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 the water in there. You could use salt water if you wanted to, okay? The salt and everything will stay on the bottom and the perfectly clean, pure water, just as rainwater is distilled water. If you look up distilling though, you'll find out that there's a lot of perversion, a lot of talk and a lot of st stuff that's negative about it. That's all horse pucky. Okay, steam distilled water is the best. Second uh, is to, because you, you can remove inorganic minerals out of your system. It doesn't touch the organic minerals. It just removes the junk, the garbage. It's hungry, it's H2O, and it grabs on to certain things. So, okay, that's it. And I also do, uh, you, can, you can, you know, real if you wanna upgrade and get more clarity too, is to use the EDTA, ethylene diamine tetracetic acid suppositories. Okay, these are the Kalamin, if you look them up on our, our website. Um, we also do at the Earther retreats here in Hawaii, we also do IV EDTA. It's about a three hour process. You do about 10 of them. You get your body squeezed and then uh, you get different uh, IVs that help take out the junk. 
um, that basically that's accumulating in our bodies. Okay, so that's it. I'm trying to keep these videos short, keep them so they're, they're you know, packed full of simple information. And you can see, I've just shaken this one up. And this is a, a, I don't put anything in plastic. Remember, these are all little secrets, no plastic. I had several friends this week that actually are friends of friends have incurable diseases. Dr. Kassar, what can I do now? Nothing. Okay, I don't deal with six people. They're too fragile. They're too, too, many, too many people uh, uh, in their families that want them to take the traditional route. You need to clean yourself before you get sick. You need to keep yourself in tune with the sun. The sun is at 13 cycles at this time. Even if you don't understand how the cosmos works, you're just supposed to stay in the tune of the earth magnetically and the sun. It's very simple. And if you're within those tunes, within that conductivity, then your body stays healthy. Your mind stays healthy. Okay, that's enough. We'll see you next time. Aloha. <laughs>